the change was, is only being triggered by the other process i have written over here three handlers this one is signal handler 1 this, sig this, this is signal handler 2 this is signal handler 3 right so for the first signal handler you i am changing the value of this global variable to plus 5 and for signal handler 2 it changes the value to plus 10 and for signal handler 3 i'm changing the value to plus 20 right so then i am uh, changing the sig default signal handlers to for sig int to signal handler 1 which is the control c signal we you send uh, the, uh, the sig int using control c to a process then sig user 1 i am changing the default uh, signal handler to signal handler 2 for sig user 1 and then i am using uh, changing the default signal handler for sig user 2 to signal handler 3 right so now uh, the default behavior of all these three are changed to uh, you know these three self-defined uh, uh, you know um, signal handlers so whenever this process in which these handlers are being assigned to these signals when these signals are received by this process they will perform uh, these uh, you know tasks instead of their default behavior whatever their default behavior is so then I have uh, forked a child process and then I have got the PID of the parent process and I have sent the parent process the control C signal from the child process and then I have delayed for one second and then I have sent the parent process the user one signal and then I have again one second delayed then I send signal user 2 to the parent process and that's that's it for in the parent process the parent process waits for the child process to finish and that's it right so let's run this and when you run this you see that first the uh, signal uh, the control C signal was sent to parent process and now this printing is being done by the parent process although uh, although it's quite evident quite obvious that uh, the parent process is printing these things right so so uh, let me let me print something out from the child process although all of these things were done in the child process after all of this is done i'm going to print f the value of the x variable inside this so x equals and but i'm also going to write here child says that x equal to this right so now let me run this again so now these prints are being done by the parent and then child says that x equal to 100 so child still has the value 100 although the parent process the value of x in parent process has changed to all these different things then at first control c was sent so it the value of x was incremented to plus 5 and then uh, uh, you know user 1 signal was sent so 105 was incremented to 10 units and then uh, uh, user 2 signal was sent so the value of x was incremented to 20 units so 115 plus 20 is 135 right but even though all of this has happened in the parent by the child process which was defined inside the parent process the change was is only being triggered by the other process the change is already defined inside the process inside the parent process but that change is triggered by what by the child process and the value of global variable in the child process is still the same 100 it was that you need to appreciate and understand the benefit of using signals that you are now able to uh you know tell something uh, tell a process to do something uh only to you know start doing something whereas the thing to do is defined inside that process right